This is the last step before you start playing with Spring MVC. If you have followed the course from step 1 to step 7 and you have the JSP servlet web application set up, then you can safely skip this step. Three main objectives for this step. One, to check if we have all our tools set up. We're going to use Eclipse, Maven and Tomcat and we want to make sure that we have all of them well set up. We're going to use a web application to check that up. The second objective is that this JSP servlet web application would serve as a comparison when we are implementing any Spring MVC based feature. And the third thing is we would learn how to use these tools. How do I run a web application in Tomcat using Maven? What we have for you is a simple zip file. It's called step7.zip. The first question is what does this zip file contain? Let's look at that. All that this zip file contains is one servlet which is the login servlet which is kind of a very basic servlet. Other than that there are two simple views login.jsp, welcome.jsp, almost nothing in there as well. We have a web.xml which is the starting point for any web application. So this is where your Java EE implementation server, I mean in our specific case it's Tomcat, this is where Tomcat starts looking for servlets. So whatever servlets you have defined in here would be the servlets which would be used. There are a few other things also you can put in the web.xml which we will discuss during the course of this course. The last file which is present in here is a pom.xml. If you are new to Maven, pom.xml is where Maven stores its configuration. You can tell Maven what are the jars you need through the pom.xml. Maven would automatically make those jars available for you. The important configurations which are present in this pom.xml are a couple of Maven plugins. These are quite simple Maven plugins. One of these plugins is used to tell Maven to use Java 8. That's the Maven compiler plugin. And we are saying use Java 1.8. The other plugin which I have in here is to enable us to run the web application in Tomcat. This is a Tomcat 7 Maven plugin. If you don't understand this pom.xml, that's not a problem at all. We'll discuss about Maven a lot during this course. And by the end of the last step, you would understand every line of the pom.xml which is present in here. This is all the setup that would be needed before we would be able to run our application in Tomcat. I would want to download this step7.zip so I would go and click step7 and you can click the raw button in here. So if you click the raw file then it would download something to your downloads folder or wherever you have configured the thing to be downloaded to. What I would want to do is to extract the code which is present in the step7.zip. I'm copying the zip file to one of the directories in my hard disk and I would unzip this file and now we have all the contents of this particular file in the folder step07 pom.xml and source. So that's good. So this is the extract. What I would do now is rename this. So I would want to, so I'll say spring mvc step7 and I have all the code in here. So that's good. Now you can copy the path to this folder, right click properties and copy the path to this folder and launch up Eclipse. Once you launch up Eclipse, it would ask you for a workspace. You can enter some workspace in any folder on your hard disk should be good. And you would end up on this particular screen, which is the Eclipse welcome screen. What we want to do now is do an import of the downloaded project. So I'll do a file import. What is the kind of project that we have? We are using Pond.xml. It's a Maven project. So I would want to import existing Maven projects and click next and paste the directory of the step 7 where we copied it to. I'm going to copy the place where we I where I have copied the code in. That's in this particular folder. Uh, that's the folder which contains the Pond.xml as well. So now I can go ahead and click finish. Eclipse would take a few minutes because it's using pom.xml it might need to download a few things before we are set up and it would show in 28 minutes first web app and also if you look at the folder structure in here there would be a pom.xml and there would be a couple of java files login service.java login servlet.java other than that there would be a couple of views login.jsp and welcome.jsp pom.xml is the critical thing when we are using maven quite a simple setup the good thing is once we have the whole thing set up with Maven, we don't need to change this throughout this particular course. So spend some time walking through the files which are in here. Uh, the servlets and the JSPs are quite a simple things. 
The way you can run this web application once you are comfortable with what's in there is do a right click, right click, run as Maven build and type in the command tomcat7 colon run. So it's very simple. It's tomcat7 colon run. That's it. And you'd be able to run this web application on Tomcat. Maven would take care of downloading everything that you would need. Maven would take care of downloading the dependencies. Maven would take care of downloading Tomcat and deploying the web application into Tomcat. In one of the subsequent sub steps, we will look at Maven and see how Maven makes uh, developing a web application very, very easy. For now, everything is set up for you and we'll use Maven to run the web application in Tomcat. So there you go. Now I have a very simple application which is set up and which is running on port 8080. So I'll go ahead to talk to the browser and I'll bring up my URL localhost 8080. Once I bring up the localhost 8080, you'd see that there is a small name field. I would type in a valid user ID and password. The way you can find the valid user ID and password is by looking at something called login service.java. So login service.java has the usernames and the password defined. Uh, this basic application is not using Spring Security. So these ones are hard coded in here. So in 28 minutes is the username and the password is dummy. So that's it. Submit query. It shows a welcome page. And if you type in an invalid password, type something else, it shows invalid credentials. This is quite a basic web application with hardly anything in there. What we have done during this step is set up the basic web application and we also now see that we are able to run the application in Tomcat using Maven. If you had any problems with any of the things that we did during this step, if any of the tools did not work fine, then I would really recommend you to go to the installation guide. So just go into the installation guide which is present in the GitHub repository Look this up, see if you have anything that is not configured according to the installation guide. The installation guide helps you to install Java, Eclipse and Maven. And once you have all those things set up, you should be able to run the web application in Tomcat very easily.